Hello and welcome to chapter 29 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP. Well, uh, continuing with the administration part, we had stopped in the uh, watching the purchase results. We had the person's name, the date, the means of payment, etc. The total and the products he had purchased, okay? Remember that in this list we could watch it step by step, right? This one has bought three products, and we see the total, the individual prices, the amount, etc. Okay, theoretically, here the purchase has already finished. Uh, the person has already selected the means of payment, which in this case is a bank transfer, and regarding the web, there is nothing else to do, since what this person has to do is go into his bank or online account and make a transfer to the agreed account, okay? Fine, but it's interesting offering the information via email. In order to register, this person had to provide us with the, his email, etc., um, whatever we ask for, and he has just made a purchase. Uh, first of all, if we aren't logged in as administrators, we won't know who has bought from us or not, so we are also interested in receiving an email. Then what can we do? Going back to the user success page, if I log in as, as usually, with uh, okay and let's see what do I have in the trolley nope I have nothing so I add this one for example I already have this product when I choose select means of payment and transfer when I click on pay automatically it should generate an email message saying hello Jorge or, or in this case Jorge Pepe we have received a purchase request and as you have chosen transfer, you have to issue a bank transfer to the account number we indicate you. Many thanks, etc, etc. And we, as administrators, um, get also a copy of this email so that we know we have a purchase with payment via transfer, okay? How can we do this? Fine, in the part of Dreamweaver, uh, Dreamweaver uh -huh, we go to the section in includes where we have the functions here what I used to do is a function called send email because we're going to use it very often okay so I will do more or less the usual thing which is copying something I have already done and paste it I will name it uh, send email HTML because we will send a cute email so to say HTML type and in this email address I will get this um, send to um, content for example by now and in case we need something else we will see that later by now I won't use access data here so I will delete all this and that way I will have an empty function I have here let's see okay this is it I will copy it and now we will explain it's very easy fine 